to get to the pros, of course, junior and college. And as for European players, well, a lot of them stay home to develop, especially the top Swedish prospects. But Gabriel Landeskog, he took a different route. To hear him during a game, go, go, go. Gabriel Landeskog sounds like just another Canadian hockey player. That's what I think. I thought it, though. Don't underestimate me there. Except that Landeskog is Swedish. Yeah! That's the way, that's the way. I was shocked. I, I thought I was talking to another Canadian kid or another American kid because uh, yeah, his English is it, really, it's, it's incredible. What about you, Matt? That was a sick move, man. He has better uh, grades in school than all our guys over here, and they speak English and it's not his first language, so he's, I don't know, he's a perfect human being, I guess. Landeskog's style of play requires no translation either. Something that caught the attention of Kitchener Rangers head coach Steve Spott at last year's under-18 World Championship. They played North American style game, uh, played hard, and, uh, and really, uh, I thought was a type of player that would fit well into our system. Oh, okay, buddy. Keep going. Keep going. When you see him on the ice, you think he's a North American player. And he came over here and right away he was one of the leaders on the team. First uh, couple of games he played, he got in that. You know, I think two fights and it was. And, you know, everyone was kind of shaking their head like, you know, you've never seen a European do that before. Well, I'm a powerful guy that likes to play rough and tough. I do see myself as a skilled player, but still, still it comes down to hard work. And I think uh, being gritty and being, being kind of in your face is, is kind of what I want, want to do. Let me try it here. Landeskog's move to the Canadian Hockey League will likely be stamped an unprecedented one on draft day. If, as expected, he is picked in the first round, he would be the first CHLer from Sweden drafted that high. Until now, all of these prospects have stayed in Sweden until at least through their draft years. I've always had kind of a dream to come over here, and there's not a lot of players that have gone this path, and I felt like it would be a journey and it would be an experience. Uh, he's very proud to be a Swedish born hockey player, but I think recognized for his own career, it was probably the best that he come to North America, learn our culture, learn the way we play the game. This is the life you want to live, and, and this is junior pro league. Like, it is junior NHL basically, and it's the best junior league you can play in, in the world. Two seasons ago, Landeskog suited up for Jurgarden in the Swedish Elite League as a 15 year old becoming one of the youngest players ever to do so. Next season, there's a very good chance he'll make a similar mark in the NHL and debut as an 18-year-old. I said from day one, I don't think Gabriel needs to spend one day in the American Hockey League. I think he'll be able to jump from this league to the National Hockey League because of the way he plays. Gabe yeah, doesn't mind getting in the dirty areas and, you know, those are the kind of guys that make money, you know, playing this game. I think he'll be a captain in the NHL one day. Uh, I believe that. We got one here. Keep working hard, Paul. When there's something to be said, uh, he says it. You know, for me, he's, he is the real deal. Well, Bob, you're the dean of the draft. Is he still in your top five right now? Absolutely. You talk to the scouts. They've raved about his performance in the early going. Nine goals in 12 games. A lot of scouts were wondering, would he have an offensive touch? He certainly does in junior hockey. There are still some wonder how he'll project if he'll be a top offensive player. But he's so big, he's so strong, he's so fast, he's so skilled. He does so many things so well. 